नमस्कार दोस्तों तो टुडे टॉपिक इज रिलेशन बिटवीन द डेंसिटी ऑफ द गैस एंड इट्स मोलर मास सो अकॉर्डिंग टू आइडियल गैस इक्वेशन पी वी इक्वल टू एन आर एर पी इज प्रेशर ऑफ द गैस वी इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ द गैस एंड इज नंबर ऑफ मोल्स नंबर ऑफ मोल्स R is gas constant and T is temperature in Kelvin. Now number of moles equal to mass of the gas mol m divided by molar mass. So just put small m over capital M instead of small m into R T. So in this way, mass by volume. That is density. So mass over volume is equal to P into m divided by R into T, and this m upon V is density. So density is equal to pressure into molar mass divided by R into T. So this is the relation between density and molar mass. That implies. density is proportional to molar mass and to derive the equation for the numericals you know here r is constant so r is equal to pm by dt so it means p1 m1 over d1 t1 is equal to p2 m2 by d2 t2 so in values mein se jo constants ho unko hata do to we get the relation for example if pressure and temperature are constant is at constant temperature and pressure What is the relation? M1 over D1 equal to M2 over D. So in this way we can solve the numericals related to density. Okay, so question is at zero degree Celsius the density of certain oxide of a gas at two bar is same. as that of the dinitrogen at 5 bar so what is the molar mass of the oxide so you know ke according to the relation we have derived so density is pm over rd rd now here you know at 0 degree celsius that means temperature is constant so those the uh, variables which are means those terms which are constant keep it up left side and other terms on the right side so first r is constant t is constant keep it like this now density is also constant that implies p into m equal to drt r you know it is gas constant Its values are different in different units, yes. like it is 8.314 joule per kelvin per mole. It is equal to 0.0821 liter atmosphere per kelvin per mole. 0.083 liter bar per kelvin per mole and 1.987 calories per kelvin per mole. But there is no need of R here. D is constant, R is constant, T is constant. so what is left pm pnm pressure and molar mass so relation is p1 m1 equal to p2 m2 because temperature and density are constant so in this way let us p1 is 2 bar p1 is 2 bar and what is m1 m1 we have to find out because we have certain oxide of gas 
its pressure is 2 bar and we have to calculate molar mass of the particular oxide so amber we have to calculate and what is p2 5 bar and second gas is dilatin n2 and what is atomic mass of nitrogen 14 so molar mass of n2 is 28 gram per so just put the values p1 is 2 m1 equal to p2 5 into 28 so m1 comes out to be 5 into 28 over 2 14 5 is 70 so means m1 comes out to be 70 gram per So that's all for the day. Thank you very much for watching this video. Do like, subscribe and share my channel. God bless you all. Happy learning.